Welcome to Inside Guelph. I'm your host, Trish Stevenson. Thanks for joining us. Thursday, February 6th. This is your roadmap to the Royal City. We have a great show for you, and it's all local. You can only find this on Rogers. Today, show your weekly book review with the Guelph Public Library. Also, some information about a very interesting Guelph art project. And starting us off, you can't get more local than this. It's our mayor, Mayor Farbridge. Thanks for being Hi. here with our city update. How yes, are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah. Good. I like that we are talking about thermal. Yes, it's so cold out cold. there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you want to? You have an announcement about thermal. Yeah, yeah we just had an announcement uh, a few days ago um, about the the beginning of our district energy system thermal utility for the city, okay. starting in the downtown. And essentially, what it is is a, as a s uh, very simply is a, a system of pipes that delete that delivers heat or cooling to buildings. Okay. Um, and so we're starting off in the downtown. Um, we have our first, in the, dr in the figure that's on the screen, you can see our downtown. You can see the Se Sleeman Center and the river run across the road. Sleeman Center is where it starts. And so there's a heating and cooling unit that's in there. It's owned by Invita, which is owned by Guelph Hydro. And so one of the benefits for the city is we needed to upgrade the equipment in the Sleeman. Normally the taxpayer would have to pay for that. But in this case, it's the Invita has, has installed this equipment and we buy heat from them. That's how the business runs. You buy heat or cooling from the company, from, from the business. And so it's good for us. It's um, more efficient. So we get not only do we not have to pay for the equipment, we also get some operational savings. So we're the first customer of this node, this heating and cooling node. And so next customer will be River Run. And again, a similar situation for us. It's a, a really very cost effective for us to, to buy heat and cooling from the system rather than to have our own equipment in the building doing it itself. Okay. And then beyond that, we then we move out to other institutions, other buildings, commercial spaces, office spaces. Um, the experience in other communities when they have started to do this is is everybody wants to hook on especially when you've reached a point where you need to upgrade your equipment and you're having to think about making an investment um, then the opportunity is is to plug into this at a much at a much more cost-effective rate okay and that's where we were anyways in terms of having to upgrade our systems yes, yes okay. for the river run and and well, and certainly Sleeman. the Sleeman Center so the benefits are it's much more efficient to use of energy so um, we use use less energy to do the same thing um, and you have less greenhouse gas emissions because right. of that so it's good from an environmental perspective the money stays for energy in the community so instead of buying energy that comes from outside of our community and the money goes outside of our community the money stays local and so that way we it stays in the local economy so that's good we right. create local jobs at the same time as well so there's lots of benefits for this and our goal is to grow this one throughout the downtown and we have eight other locations in the city where there's potential for doing the same thing. Oh you God. need a high density, so you need a lot of energy users and, and so that, that you've got the density to make something like this work. And we've identified nine areas, one of them being the Hannon Creek Business Park, where the opportunity exists for something like this. Okay, yeah. that hasn't been built up yet. No. I mean, it's open no. so they could get all that. We saw on screen yeah. the work that they're doing yeah. to get that in. Uh, what is your time frame then in terms of the Sleeman Center and the River Run? Like when will we see this all be done? These are all over the next couple of years in the short term. The okay. long term is a 40 year plan. Wow. So for a city, it's, it's a long term plan. Um, to build this out, but you build it in, you build it incrementally where it makes sense, where you've got a business case to do that. Okay. Yeah. And so it's efficient in terms of the delivery system. It works. Uh, is this something that the taxpayers will see any benefit from? Like, will there be the opportunity back to for us? the taxpayer is actually because Invita is owned by Guelph Hydro, which is owned by the city. The profits that they make, as with Guelph Hydro, any profits that are made are, are moved up as a dividend to the city. So we get a $1.5 million from Guelph Hydro right now, every year, as a dividend to the city. Okay. So this is building a business that eventually will, will deliver dividends to the city. So that goes to help pay for um, what the city needs. So okay. it's a benefit to the taxpayer in that way. And that you won't have to take that from us. Yeah. You. I love yes. that you don't take it from us. Yeah. Okay. So that is is all good news yep. if we want more information we can get onto the website yes so, um, and Guelph Hydro has got 
some uh, lots of great information, yeah. and Invita has some great information, like the diagram you show they I showed you, and and so explaining what it is and what what some of the plans are. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. I love it too. It's so well, very green. Yes. Right. So yes. that's perfect with our plan. Yeah. And you have an award. Are we? Yes, a city. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a tribute to a lot of people, the residents, for sorting their waste. It's a waste award. Um, obviously, the staff who plan the system are sorters who are, you know, working to sort the materials to be recycled. But uh, in 2012, we achieved the highest diversion rate from landfill for our municipal program, waste collection program in the province. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, yeah, so the Waste Diversion Organization, which is an organization that actually um, it's there's private sector funding coming in that helps municipalities with recycling programs and, and diversion programs. So um, it's a way that uh, the producers of waste actually contribute and support in some way municipalities in dealing with waste at the, at the end of the pipe. Okay. Um, they also monitor our diversion rates and, and so sort of a bit of a third party overview of it for us. Mm -hmm. um, and they've just um, launched a new award and so the Guelph is the first recipient of this award. Um, because of our, our achievements in 2012. So we went from 39% um, diversion in yeah. 2006 to 68% um, in 2012. Whoa. So a big jump. That's big a huge jump. jump. Yeah. Yeah. And are, we're still working towards even larger? I mean, yeah, that's we goal. have, um, we're updating our solid waste master plan mm -hmm. right now. So we've got a group of citizens that are working with our staff looking at new technologies that are out there, different programs that other cities are using. How can we not only re divert more and recycle more, but how do we actually help to reduce waste as mm -hmm. well? So there's looking at those opportunities as well. Okay. So Does this step back to right to the very person's home and how we even get rid of garbage in the first place? Well, it's, you know, it, we can only divert because our residents sort in the home and put it on the curb sorted. So yeah. it's the quality of sor sorting that our community does that allows us to divert because um, if the recycled stream has any contamination in it, um, it won't get re accepted by the people we sell it to. So that makes a difference. Yes, absolutely. I mean, everybody's little piece yeah. makes a difference yeah. in the big Huge puzzle. Huge difference. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. It's a good reminder. Lovely to have you. Thanks. Uh, taking a short break when we get back, some information about a Guelph art project. We'll see you back here in a minute.